Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Sunray coming at you guys with a very beautiful prophetic utterance, okay? This is a rhema word. Listen, you are smooth as butter. I'm gonna say that again. You are smooth as butter. Long ago when the Lord poured the anointing on your life, you have allowed that anointing to be pressed out. Now look, it's a difference between having the anointing and carrying the oil of your anointing. Come on. So y'all, whoever this word is for, you now carry the oil of your anointing. So now when the enemy tries to jam you up and put you in uncomfortable situations and, and almost think he can just pin you up, That oil has made you just as smooth as butter. So now you slip away from him. You're slipping your way through situations. But also too, the Lord is saying that you have entered your season of ease. Where things are just going to come to you. Things are, people are just going to slip things into your hands. You're just going to slip out of traps. You're just going to slip into rooms that the Lord has already had your name in the mouths and the hearts of people to bless you. Look at look at the science of this, y'all. When you think about it, um, you can have bread, right? Let's say you don't put it in the toaster, but you pull the butter out of the fridge. When you cut the butter, it is so hard. It's not easy. You cannot spread it on that bread without messing up the bread, okay? And that's how it was when God first gave you the anointing. It was this block. It was this solid block. You couldn't really do much with it. And see, that's what's happening now in the body of Christ is you have people that are anointed, but they didn't go through their process to press out the oil. So they're functioning because they have an anointing, but they don't carry the oil of the anointing. Come on, y'all. And if we look at the widow in 2 Kings 4, she thought she had nothing. Oh, I have nothing but a little bit of oil, but that little bit of oil went a very long way. Somebody needs to hear me by the spirit of the Lord that what the Lord has pressed out of you is... Is way more valuable than anything that money could buy because now you have a form of spiritual currency. Let's go back to my butter scenario. So when the Lord first gave you this, it was hard butter. But then as he increased the temperature of your situation, if you know, if anybody knows anything about temperature, temperature is purely defined as the increase in activity of molecules. When molecules begin to move at a much faster rate, see the Lord, when he increased the temperature of your situation, when he increased the pressure of your situation, you began to get worried. Because if y'all remember correctly, PV equals NRT, the ideal gas law, pressure and temperature are directly correlated. So when pressure increases, so does the temperature, okay? So when this increase happened, You just thought that the Lord forgot about you. You just thought that the Lord was just putting you through a situation. No, what the Lord was doing was he was speeding up your process. Come on now. He was speeding up your process. Somebody hear me. He was speeding up your process. And so as the Lord is speed, has speed up your, I mean, sped up your process. What's now happened is, is that you now are this, you're just oily. You're just oily. You're covered with the oil of your anointing. And guess what? Thank you, Holy Spirit. God is saying that that oil has a fragrance attached to it. Your oil has a fragrance attached to it. Others, they just smell it off of you. They smell my goodness on you. And that is what's going to attract blessings to you, my child. This is your season of ease. Think about it. As soon as that butter is heated up, you can take that butter and spread it easily. You you don't have to have toast. When the butter is melted, you can just put it on top of that bread, eat it, and it's a good old day. You know what I mean? But honestly, if you had the bread that wasn't toasted, the butter is kind of useless because it's just going to mess up the bread. It's just going <laughs> to... Come on now. Some of y'all don't want to go through your situation. Some of you are listening to this prophetic word and you haven't gone through your situation and you haven't gone through your process. I'm going to tell you just because you're anointed, it's not going to work. You need the oil. You need that ancient oil. That's what you need. You need the oil of your anointing. Okay. Prayerfully, this makes sense to somebody, but what the Lord is saying in this hour, child of God, the devil thought he had you. He thought that it was over. And then your father slipped in and slipped your... 
and flipped your situation. He turned it. He turned it. I need somebody to receive that this morning. He turned it. God turned it. One more time. The devil thought he had me. He thought that it was over. And then the Lord, he came in and flipped my situation. He turned it. That's by Ty Tripper, by the way, called He Turned It. Y'all, I am about to, Lord, 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 prophesy. You are entering into the best season of your life. You are entering into your season of ease. And it ain't even you are entering. You have entered your season of ease. When you begin to notice that situations that the enemy could use before to trap you, you just slip out of it. Come on now. You know that you have entered your season of ease. And even your season of more than enough. Because when that little bit of oil, she recognized that it could go a long way. She ended up having more than enough. You have, come on, hear me by the, hear me by the spirit. Look, this is what the Lord has done for you. He has done great things for me. He has done great things for me. He has done great things for me. And it also makes me think of slippery. The enemy thought he had me, eh, but I slipped away. Eh, 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 slippery. Ooh. (laughs) Wow. 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 Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I don't know why, but the Holy Spirit just mentioned 7-Eleven. Okay. And so 7-Eleven, um, it makes me think of Matthew 7-Eleven. If you being evil know how to give good gifts to your children, how much greater are the gifts that the father in heaven can give his? And we know James 1 and 17 tells us that every perfect gift comes from the Lord up above because you went through your process, because you allowed yourself to be pressed out. Better believe the Lord is showing up in your situation and you are slipping out of anything that once kept you bound in Jesus name. I love y'all so much and I'll talk to you later.